Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined blue ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today I just have a short message to talk to you about. And that is that um, we are moving out of the portal into the unknown in some ways. And I, this message is intended to be encouragement for a lot of people. Some of it might get confusing. And I was prompted quite a bit to um, talk about this time that um, we're coming out of, but also moving into. So as we come out of one portal, and there have been a lot of people who have stepped up onto that bridge of life. And what is the bridge? Well, I call it a bridge. Other people call it, you know, stair steps or stepping up, ascending. Um, we are doing this in a process. And I think by now everyone's aware that it is a process. It's a process of continuing to finish the cycles, conclude karma, conclude old agreements. Uh, there have been many times there have been things come right back at us and, you know, to see what are we going to do about it. And particularly for the illumined Blu-ray twins. And this message is especially for you, for us. Um, it's time. This is our time for many people, and this is a lot of the feminine, but not exclusively the feminine. They've been waiting respectively for 26,000 years for this cycle to end and, and conclude and the new ascension to begin. 26,000, 13,000, 11,000, and 5,000 years. Those were the last ear markers of our last ascensions. We are now, we've now reached critical mass. Out of those of us on the planet here incarnated in a body, uh, those of us in a body, there's not a lot of us. And yet you're going to start to see that there is some expansion out there with people. There are people coming into more awareness, um, higher forms of their own consciousness and awareness that maybe they're from some place or they resonate with a place. For those of us from the Blu-ray, and I've said this on my profile on a couple of pages, um, I'm pretty much calling my tribe home. And whether or not people hear it or get it, this is just a part of my agreement. And it's not going to be like this forever because we continually move into our oneness. So um, my last couple of videos were talking about the grid work that I've done and that a lot of you have done. Hopefully I'm helping some of this gel for you, uh, showing you the big picture, but also showing you within your union and as the individuated presence of the one soul, you know, what, you, what you've been doing, what, you know, why has spirit had me go here, or why did I have to go there, or why did I just sit there, or why did I fall asleep, why did I receive this activation spontaneously, why did I start crying spontaneously, and for uh, some of you, um, your backstory has been that, yes, you didn't willfully separate. Some of you, your twin was either torn from you uh, at, one of these jun at one of the juncture points at the ascension times, or they willfully left. And I'm here to say to you that the buck stops here. Right here, right now, this is our meeting place. This is the time that people will be coming back into their oneness. It's an inside-out process. And so a couple of the things that I want to talk about is that many of you have been doing a massive cleaning and clearing of your DNA right down to the molecular level. And a lot of you are really tired and quite bone tired. I mean, you are tired to the bone, and there's a reason for that. Molecular level means right into the very molecules, the parts, the quarks, the protons, the neutrons, the uh, God particle of you within because you are the creator. So every little bit is getting clean, cleared, excised, that anything that's unusable, um, not noteworthy, all of your memories, anything that is a memory that is to be stored, whether it's for a collective purpose or for an individuated purpose are in your personal and collective Akashic records of all time. 
those memories are placed in sort of a holographic way into the Akash. And these are um, our records. It's like picking up an encyclopedia and reading about a war or reading about the colonization of some place. It's, you know, there are small earthly equivalents of who we are in uh, every level and every dimension. So some of you, you've been going around and uh, for those of you who live in Chicago, yes, uh, I try to go to a place called American Science and Surplus and get a model of DNA and they don't have it. And a nice young lady there told me, well, I can make one, you can make one from candy. And I said, I said to her, I'm not an artist. A lot of you know, I am not an artist and my creativity lies in other directions. So, um, you know, here's what I wound up doing. This is a pipe cleaner. And so for some of you, I'm just using this as sort of a demo. You've been seeing spirals. You've been seeing a helix pattern. And what is the helix pattern? It's, you know, it is the, it's a turn. It's like a spirally turn like this. And that is how you pack a lot of molecular um, and spiritual DNA into a small spot. And so you're quite literally twining your DNA with your twin. Now, if you're separated from your twin, and I'll, I'll just take this as an example, um, you know, you're one side, your twin's the other side. Every time you have a touch and go, are you clear? You know, what does this look like sideways? That's an infinity symbol. So these are the parts where you're sort of at extreme odds and maybe you're mirroring and you're like, I'm afraid to do this and I'm afraid to do this. But then you release the fear, you clean it, and boom, you come to that juncture point. Well, for a lot of you who've been hanging on and hanging on and hanging on and believing and believing and you know, just your heart is telling you, that's my truth. I'm here to be with that person. Or my heart has shown me. Or my dreams have shown me that it's this person. It could be a famous person. It could be someone that seems to be unattainable at this point. It can be someone you've already met. It can be someone you might have known for years. But the layers are coming off. You're all, every, everything's being cleaned out. And those soulmates that they've been with, in some ways, they've been softening them up for you because by the time you come together, you are intended to be the love. You're here to be the love again and have brand new adventures. And what are those? some of those adventures looking like? Well, if you talk about this gate, and so you come together and you're entwining, some of this is DNA that enabled you to have a form in certain uh, other planetary systems. It enabled you to have a body, in other words, or form for your spirit, for your soul, or your essence to occupy, live in that environment, thrive in that environment, whatever it is, whatever the um, physicality of that place is. So let's say your favorite place is the Pallades. I hear Pallades a lot. I feel Palladian. I'm not from here. I'm from someplace in the Pallades or you know, I'm a Palladian or I'm a Lemurian. Uh, I lived in Atlantis. We came here from the Pallades and that's all valid and it's true. And I too have been to many places and come through many places. It's no different than uh, here in America where we say well, my parents are uh, from Poland and Sweden and um, Ireland and, you know, all these other places. But before that, they were part of this Celtic tribe or the Angles or the Saxons or the Franks or um, the Goths. And, you know, it goes back and it goes back and it goes back and it goes back. So let's say you've cleaned this up and you're ready to jump off. You've got your point here where you live or where you will be living and when you're with your twin and you start to merge and you actually are able to activate your light body and you go out through certain portals and I asked my guides about this and I said how is it decided where we're gonna go and they said God decides and I said hmm 
they said the God that you are decides because at that level you are dimensionally and vibrationally at a level where the God that you are, the creator God that you are, is making the decision of where to go. And it's a co-created conscious choice together with your twin. So it's, it's no different than saying, oh, hey, honey, let's travel along the bridge here and we've cleaned up the DNA so we can stop in, off in the Pallades and we're just going to activate that and, you know, we're going to go there, visit, um, visit our second home or our first home. And another thing that people don't realize with being multidimensional is that, yes, there have been favorite places that they've loved, that they've felt nostalgic about, and many people have felt stuck here. So the Blu-rays are definitely the ones who have been um, cleaning and clearing their DNA. It's been right down to the nth level, subatomic level of uh, cleaning and clearing. There are people, and I, I will say this again, if you're here to be with your twin and you know it, stick with that. Do not invalidate yourself. Do not allow other people to invalidate you, and I will tell you why. There are people that I know, there's people that I've done sessions for, who absolutely know to their heart. And their soul trauma, the trauma, the tear in their soul, which was not something that, uh, it was something perpetrated on them. And you hear all about darkness. Well, it's true. But we're not going to talk about that right now. What I'm going to say is that it's not only is it your time, but there are people who've been in mental institutions or they've had to take men or they self-medicate um, because some of it has been making you want to cry from the soul level where the tears just leak out until there's no more tears to come. And those times are going to come to an end for you. There are people who make decisions to remain with a soulmate, and that's fine and dandy for them. I don't know what their agreement is. But for many people, it's physically painful to not be with their twin. Not it's physically painful to be with their twin. It's physically painful to not be with their twin. But again, it's been a process of you separately repairing, cleaning, and clearing your spiritual DNA, adding that to the DNA that you have, putting yourselves together, merging together, blending together, and yes, fitting in all of your missing pieces, unlocking the keys and, you know, things that you have as treasures for each other that nobody else can unlock. So it's important to know that more and more as we have collapsed, as we have transmuted the collective stuff and the personal stuff, you're intended to be left with only that which is a part of your daily grind. It's the habits, you know, it's the personal uh, things of, of actually living with someone. Frankly, a lot of people have had practice living by living with someone by living with a soulmate. And they have been your ascension pal in some ways. So... Um, what we're coming up to now, especially this weekend, this weekend, we're still going forward. We're going into another portal. You're going to see other people going through their ascension stuff. It may not be as intense as you, but it will be their things. They may take naps. They may have headaches. They may have other illnesses. A lot of it is uh, probably going to be short-lived for them. Um, everyone's different everyone's agreement is different, and yet there are some commonalities. So the Lionsgate portal that we're coming up to on August 8th does happen every year. And I'm going to explain something else about this, because you hear things about the Pallades, about Sirius, about Andromeda. What happens is that many of you have had DNA that you've brought from those places, and so as once a year, you know, our planet's rotating around, we come into alignment with these places. And so we're pretty much lined up with the energies of Sirius. And those of you that have that connection to Sirius, you are receiving like a ton of, uh, some people call it downloads, energies, um, 
awareness. Uh, it's, it's going to physically affect your body, and yet sometimes it will be very subtle, as we are all things small and all things large. So, um, you know, this happens in May. Uh, you'll hear things like the heliaco rising of the Pallades, and the pyramids in Egypt were created to align with this. So were other, some other temples, like there's one, the uh, Temple of the Morning Star in the Yucatan Peninsula by Tulum. And there's some other ones, Stonehenge. Um, there's other things, uh, objects and artifacts around the globe that were set up to line up with these certain constellations because the people that, the starseed people that came from those places actually, you know, they're like recharging their batteries. They're pulling in all of their stuff, all of their spiritual DNA and energies from those places. This is why for some of you, your counterpart, you know, maybe all the light bulbs aren't going off and you're saying, why is my counterpart not getting it? It's because they're still receiving it. So be patient, be gentle, be kind. In some ways, it's like someone who's coming out of amnesia. You, you're separate for some reasons, and a lot of those reasons are to enable your counterpart to receive clear, get rid of the bad habits, get rid of the bedside manner, you know, use nice words with you so that everything is um, flowing lovely between you. So the Lion's Gate is another place portal for fiery expansion and you're going to find that for those of you who've done your work to move out of situations relationships jobs geographic locations you're in a good spot fiery expansion but if you have not taken the steps on some of those things that fear has held you in place please trust that so many things have been moved and collapsed out of your way to enable you to do it Believe that you have made the connections for the right divorce lawyer, the attorney, the uh, movers, the, the right plane ticket or whatever you need to do, the right landing spot, the right spot of where you are intended to live. And then um, what you would need to do is trust. Trust that you're being shown, oh, that's the person I need to speak with. Because if you don't, things, the fire of Leo will come and bite you in your butt. And, you know, that's not me saying that. That is, you know, the fire in the other direction. It's the fiery expansion or it's the fire that motivates you. And um, yet it's going to happen. Thank you so much for watching and um, have a wonderful weekend.